welcome to a day that looks like an early summer day the temperature is high but unfortunately according to the weather forecast it's not gonna last throughout the entire day so I've decided we're gonna go thrifting and we're gonna take the trip from Ulense to Essens and hopefully if the Sun is still out by the time that we reach Essens I want to go through the ocean so let's head out and eat sunglasses <laughs> I need sunglasses, maybe a light coat. If I'm going to the ocean, I'm gonna bring a coat. Feels like I was only on the road for a few minutes. I'm already in Glamsbia and the sky is blue. So first thrift shop of the day. It turned out to be a very quiet Monday to go thrifting and I was pretty much the only one in this store. And it didn't take me many seconds until I found this one that I thought was quite cute. And then I found this plate with roses, super pretty, and then a fish. <laughs> I really like colored glass so I always gravitate towards them and look at them but I just don't need more balls in my life. Found this doll that was cool. And then a big fish plate. Might regret a bit I didn't get that one. And I looked at ties just to see if I could find something I liked. And I saw this jacket that was also quite cute. It's not vintage, but cute though. Overall, this space or store is not really impressive on clothes and furniture was not a good place to find treasures either today this lamp was was quite interesting tried to see if i could find a lamp shade and then i looked at tablecloths because i'm still on the hunt for a big bedspread the thrift shop in Glamsbia was not a big Cheshire chest, but we're now in Essence and it's a pleasure to drive around in this weather. Absolutely love it. Feels like summer today. Might get some freckles. So second thrift shop is one that I am usually very fond of. It's usually very organized and they have a lot of things furniture, decor, clothes, not so much clothes, but um, we're going to head in and see. As mentioned, I love how organized this store is. Everything has been cleaned and set up nicely. They have a huge selection of glass. And then I found these glasses perfect for plant propagations and just decorations a cute tea set some more cute cups and plates 
I found a beautiful embroidered pillow but I had to control myself because my collection is huge and I don't need another one this was also very cute a tiny little crystal vase and I found a swan useful right and then I looked at pictures because I can't stop myself and I did find a small piece today I quickly browsed the cabinets because I can't wait for my living room to be ready to be decorated after the skylight has been put in. I loved this cabinet, so beautiful. And look at the shelves inside. It's very groovy. And then I looked at clothes just because I'm here. They don't have a lot of vintage here or special pieces. I did find this velvet dress and this set that was um, in the plus size section, really cool. And I found a purple vintage jacket, but it was also in a bigger size, so. It shouldn't be long now before the weather is going to change, so I've just bought some provient, some food. Now I'm going to go see the ocean and eat my lunch there yes let's go why I want to live on the countryside someday. So quiet. The town is in there. That's where I walk from. This is quite a serious walk. Look how far away the town is by now. It's way out there. We're almost at the destination spot. Hopefully I'm gonna be the only one there. That will be amazing. I've only crossed four or five people and they just stare at me and give me the eyes like why is she wearing that dress to walk around here? <laughs> hmm. Well, that's who I am. Oh, can you see that? We're almost there. There's a fisherman like way out there and then we have the rest all to ourselves. It's exactly what I was dreaming of. I think I have many moments of happiness throughout my life. I am pretty good at finding joy in like small things and I'm so 
happy that I let myself do this today. Um, it's Monday and I was supposed to be in the studio packing orders. But the weather for the rest of the week it looks like it's going to be quite grey. And this was just really what I was craving for. I only had yesterday off and I was working Saturday and I'm just so happy I did this. Really just like so grateful and at peace and I'm gonna eat lunch here. Feel so lucky. The sun is gone. The fishermen are packing down and I've put on both my cardigan and jacket. Maybe it's also time for me to leave soon. And then I decided to head by a last Red Cross on the way back to the city. And this is also a very organized, lovely thrift shop with good chances for gems. I found this jar. I was looking at it for quite some time because I actually think it's really adorable. And I found a vase that I was also very much going forth and back about. This glass was beautiful. If I had the cabinets, we just saw and my living room was done. I would get myself some more glass, salt and pepper piece, <laughs> a beautiful pot in a size that's not really useful though. And then I found a bedspread, but it looked dirty, damn it. And then to this painting that I actually really, really liked, but then when I took it down, it was falling apart. I found another cabinet and that would also be a good solution. Maybe paint it in a color like matching the wall that it's standing up against. That would be cool. And then I found another painting and I was looking at it and looking at it. Ended up concluding it was not in the right color scheme for my house. And then a quick browse the clothing selection. I found this warm brown jacket. It was just like ASOS or Sarah or something. It had such a cute shape, like on the right size, of course, it was too big for me. And then I'd found this vintage dress from the 80s. It was cute, but it's not in a shape that's super flattering on my body. And it was also expensive. And then I was back home again. I've now washed my thrift finds from Monday, but it's actually Wednesday today. And bear over with me if my energy is a bit low. I'm not feeling 100%. I hope it's not going to turn into an actual cold, but I do have a headache and I've been cold all day. Despite that, I have just photographed this beautiful dress in the garden and before that I photographed a one piece. So cute, like both of them are so wonderful. They're going to be up on the webshop this Friday and I love both pieces so much. But here is what I thrifted Monday. So, first of all, I bought this pot. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, I just thought it was quite perfect uh, for my living room. Pots are actually expensive. So this was a good purchase. Can always use another plant. Then I bought a swan. Just kind of liked it. I don't like that it is like white white. 
So I will look into maybe putting a coating on top to make it more creamy, rustic. I don't know if it's possible to add a layer, um, but that is something I'm going to look into. Just thought it was really, really cute. And then I bought this one. It's been a trendy thing on Instagram to have these and then just put one flower in each of these. I also bought a fish plate in glass. I just thought it was fun. Definitely not gonna use it for fish. I'm gonna use it for like candy or grapes. And I bought the embroidered picture I showed you. It has a decent size and the color scheme is, is great for my house. So, um, and last of all, I bought glass, four different ones here, again to propagate or if I have a single flower or a small branch from the garden, I can put them into these, but especially, especially for propagating, that was the main reason I bought these and I think they're, they're so cool that they are different, all four of them, I love that. Yeah, that was everything I bought Monday. Yeah, I'm gonna put my treasures away. Ooh, 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 this is not steady. The weather is perfect for a little DIY. So we're gonna cover the little swan. I watched a YouTube tutorial earlier, to, earlier today <laughs> while I was um, making breakfast. So I found my beige paint that I have mixed up with a bit of white. Used that before. Baking powder. Mm. I need a small bowl. You can see I use my fish for some grapes. We have a small teacup. <laughs> bowl, teacup. Same, same. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pour over. And baking powder is to make texture in the paint. I want it to be quite textured. It's alive. already looks a lot more rustic so now I have to let it dry for at least two hours and then possibly do a second coat 
she already looks a lot better and imagine like having a small plant in here or maybe using it for paint brushes that's not a bad idea that would be so cute or makeup brushes if that is what you wanted to do get I've received a package from a friend, an online friend across the world. This is three finds from the US, sent all the way here. And I must admit, I did um, <laughs> I did just cut it open and had a peek inside. But Holly, the package is finally here. It's been quite a journey, but I am so excited to see what you have picked out and sent me. This is, I promise, the only thing I have had a peek on. A lovely, super delicate, light pink blazer. Oh, it has a stain there. I'm gonna try and wash it. And it comes with a skirt. Cute. Oh, this is another set. It's also very much a spring piece with puffy sleeves. And that also comes with a skirt. Oh, oh this is a nice purple color. I love purple right now. That looks so adorable. Love a purple shade right now. Is it a long jacket? I love long jackets. That's so cool. Just like, I love anything that's like a brocade material. And then with a the red lip, that's gonna be so sophisticated. Oh, I love, I really love that. I wonder if there's a letter in here and I'm just doing things in the Gorgeous. I know it's very winter, but oh my god, that's gorgeous. This top, like the black bit, is a velvet. I'm a sucker for velvet. And then the rest is like gray checkered. That's so cute. Oh my god, Holly, you've done a great job. This looks nice too. Feels like linen. A sand linen dress that you can layer with all sorts of pieces underneath. Oh, we have some heels in here. Those are cool. Hope they're in focus. What is this? Oh, they're gloves. Oh my God. Like old. <sighs> Sophisticated. It's tiny. They stretch a lot. Oh, it has flowers. That's so cute. I should have kept this for my birthday. That would have been awesome. Then we have denim dress. Looks simple, like denim can do. <laughs> On a day where you just um, wanna take the easy choice. I love to wear denim. We have something here in black. Wow. These buttons. This jacket is so pretty. That's like the vintage elegance that I love. Holly, seriously, you've done an amazing job. In your email, you were like, I don't know if this is gonna be something that you like. You have done an amazing job. You know me so well. This is so pretty. 
like this is gonna be so cool so cheek there is some is this a set there's a black skirt as well and last up looks cute what is this that's adorable look how cute that is it's like a kilted robe pink floral oh no i did this in the wrong order i'm sorry thank you so much and you have picked out some pieces that are truly my taste i mean I'm gonna pop all of this into the machine, give them a gentle wash, and then I'm gonna try them on as soon as they're dry. This was amazing, thank you so much Holly. I know that it's very expensive to ship a box with this weight all the way to Denmark, so, and the fact that you picked out all these pieces with me in mind is just, yeah, I'm just, thank you so much. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> Yeah, what a nice ending to this work week. I'm gonna get this video edited up and then I have uh, the weekly collection in about half an hour, I think. So thank you guys so much for watching this week and a massive, massive, massive thank you to Holly. I'm gonna send you an email. Um, yeah, It's not been a good weather week. I'm so glad I took Monday off and let myself go to the ocean. This bouquet, by the way, is from a customer that came by the showroom Saturday when I opened up. She was so sweet and she said that she had made these and wanted to give them to me. Like the nicest customer in the world, buying something and bringing you a present. I mean, and they fit into my aesthetic just perfect, so. Thank you so much for watching guys, I'm going to see you all next week, hopefully with spring weather and no more windy, stormy, yeah, bye guys, super pretty, this is very pretty, look at how many things.